What's up, YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about how to know when it's okay to wear that shirt tucked or untucked. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics, such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe and tap that notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends, like Mark Gillum, salute. Now, one of the questions I get often on this channel is when is it okay to wear a shirt untucked, especially a button up shirt? And to be honest with you, this is one that I've messed up many times in my day. So hopefully you're gonna learn today from my experience. I'm gonna talk to you about a few of the things you need to look for to let you know it's okay to wear the shirt untucked, which shirts look better tucked or untucked, and how you can slightly bend the rules a little bit and still get away with it. So without further ado, let's get into whether you can wear that shirt tucked or untucked. Now let's start with the most important characteristic you can look for when deciding whether you can wear that shirt tucked or untucked, and that's the length of the shirt. Now the ideal length of a shirt that you're gonna wear untucked, you want it to fall around mid zipper. Anything too much longer than that is too long. Anything too much shorter than that is too short. Let me show you what I'm talking about with these two shirts that sometimes I play with whether I can wear them tucked or untucked. First we have this tartan one I'm rocking now. This one is a good one to wear untucked. As you can see, it falls right around mid zipper. Perfect length. Now we have this other gingham dress shirt that I really love and I'm often tempted to wear untucked. But as you can see, it's a little too long. It falls at the bottom of the zipper, too much length. Now to know if the shirt is absolutely too short, if you raise your hands up and you can see your midsection at all, it's too short. Now second on the characteristics you wanna pay attention to is the type of hem that you have on the shirt. Now a shirt that has a nice even straight hem, that's definitely meant to be worn untucked. But on the other hand, a shirt with an obviously uneven hem and a noticeable curve, that shirt is meant to be tucked in. Manufactured that way and meant to be tucked. But this one is a rule that I do play around with a little bit. Some shirts have a slight curve as this one does, and even some of my shirts that have more of a curve, if they're shorter, I'll still bend that rule a little bit. But as a rule of thumb, the straighter the hem of the shirt, the more likely it's gonna look good untucked. Now another characteristic you can look for to know if the shirt can be worn untucked is the look at the collar. Now a dress of your shirt is gonna have a stiffer collar and a lot of times it's gonna have collar stays to make it look stiff. This is an indication that this is a dress of your shirt. Because wearing a shirt untucked is a casual look, stay away from wearing these stiff collar shirts untucked. But on the other hand, if you have a softer collar like this shirt has, or even a button down collar, that's more of a casual look, more likely that you can wear that shirt untucked. Now, no matter what the characteristics of the shirt, if you're wearing a shirt with a collar and you're layering it like under a sweater or a blazer, I'm gonna suggest you tuck that shirt in. The shirt peeking from under the sweater, not a good look, looks sloppy. Let's talk about some shirts that generally look better untucked. First of all, you wanna wear that t-shirt untucked. The t-shirt by nature is a casual shirt. There are some people that can get away with a tucked t-shirt, best few and far in between. Just make sure that t-shirt follows the length rule and is not swallowing you coming below mid zip. And generally speaking, polo shirts look pretty good untucked. Although they do have a collar, they're a casual shirt, and most of the time that cut short enough to hit that mid zipper area. The polo shirt being a nice blend between put together and casual. And also let's take shirts such as a Hawaiian shirt. And most of the time your short sleeve button up shirts. You definitely wanna wear those untucked if they follow the other rules. Now that we know a little bit about the characteristics of a shirt you can wear tucked and untucked, there's an important rule I want you to know as well. You have to pay attention to the formality of the situation you're gonna be in. If you're gonna be in a dressier, formal, or business type setting, I always suggest you err on the side of caution and tuck that shirt in. Going out to the club, maybe on a date, hanging with the fellas, then you might be more tempted to untuck your shirt. But just remember, the more formal the situation, the more likely you need to keep that shirt tucked. And one last guideline I want you to pay attention to, and this one might be a little nitpicking. If you've been wearing that dress shirt all day, don't untuck it at the end of the day. It's probably gonna be wrinkled, bunched up. It's not gonna come off that well. So once you decide to tuck that dress shirt that day, wear it tucked the rest of the day. Okay, so there you have it. My rules and guidelines to know when it's okay to tuck or untuck that shirt. Although I think these are great guidelines, this is a situation where I think you can play around a little bit 
add your own flair, but just make sure that shirt isn't too long or too short to be worn untucked. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. Helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll check you out tomorrow.